Hello, and welcome to Measures of Location. Measures of Location describe the central tendency of a set of data. In this video, you will learn the statistical concepts for analyzing data and various measures of location, such as mean, median, mode, and percentile. Let's talk about mean first. It is the most common measure of central tendency. Given numbers x1, x2, x3, up to xn, the mean is found by computing the sum of the numbers and dividing that sum by n, total number of data points in the data set. Try this example. What is the mean for data points 14, 15, 30, and 40? To calculate the mean, first add the numbers 14, 15, 30, and 40. Now divide this sum by 4, the total number of data points in the data set. You should get the answer 24.75. Now let's talk about median. This robust measure of central tendency is not affected by extreme values. In an ordered array of data points, large to small, the median is the middle number. If the count of numbers in a data set is odd, the median is simply the middle number. For example, given the data set of five numbers, one, three, five, eight, and nine, the median is the middle number, five. If the count of numbers in a data set is even, the median is the average of the two middle numbers. For example, given the data set of six numbers, 0, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 14, the median is found by adding the third and fourth numbers, 5 and 7, and dividing by 2. This equals 6. The next measure is mode, the value in a data set that occurs the most often. This measure of central tendency is not affected by extreme values and is applicable to both numerical and categorical values. Please note, there can be more than one mode for a data set. For example, as you look at the diagram on the left, the numbers 6 and 12 each appear thrice in the data set. In this example, there are two modes, 6 and 12. Now consider the diagram on the right. All numbers have the same frequency. Each occurs once. In this example, there is no mode. Now let's consider some of the drawbacks of these measures of location. The biggest problem with mean as a measure of central tendency is that it is affected by extreme values. Consider a set of five numbers, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Both the mean and median for this data set is 60. If only one number changes, say the 80 becomes 180, the mean changes to 80 while the median remains a 60. As you can see, the presence of an extreme value affected the mean, but not the median. On the other hand, the problem with median is that it does not consider the actual values in the data set and instead looks at ordering only. Look at this example of the scores of seven students from their Term 1 and Term 2 examination results. You will notice that all students, except Student 4, have higher Term 2 scores. Yet the median for both Term 1 and Term 2 is the same, 50. As you can see, while both mean and median are widely used measures of central tendency, you should be careful when trying to come to any conclusions using them. The final measure is percentile. Percentile provides an estimation of the proportion of a data set that falls above and below a given value. In other words, it is a value such that at most, p percent of the observations are less than this given value, and that at most, 1 minus p percent are greater than the given value in a sorted data set. Look at the example. The first percentile cuts off the lowest 1% of the sorted data, and the 98th cuts off the lowest 98% of the sorted data. Note the terms used in the chart. Quartile signifies four splits in the data, decile signifies 10 splits, pentile is 20 splits, and percentile is 100 splits of the data. To recap, 
This video covered the concepts of mean, median, mode, and percentile, also known as measures of location. In the next video, we will explain the concept of measures of variability. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you at the next one.